being able to be in this school puts you on the pedestal. When you're at ICTs and you have a sort of vibe, because there are so many different cultures and backgrounds and everyone is all together and we all share these experiences together and that's great. ICT is different because it allows us to achieve more and do more things than we were originally able to do. To see the change in those children's lives is phenomenal. They don't realise what a difference they made to their lives too, so it's a, it's a, it's a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. The Bursary Trust Fund, it's like this project where, that relies on donations from parents so that each year a grade 8 student can get an education from our school that they may not have been able to get otherwise. And so um, between Peter Temple and Neil Hobbs and a couple of others, they put this legal structure together which has become the vehicle for, for fundraising and we use um, um, that to pay for students' fees depending on um, the particular need of the student. There's a school not too far from my house and it's it's not the best school, like there's like bad things happen. <laughs> Both because like it gives other people a chance to get education and then also it gets it brings more kind of diversity to our school mm -hmm. and our classes. Like she's developed me as a person as well, like I've learned from her and like she's just brought a different aspect to our friendship as a whole. Just so much attention paid to being yourself and uniqueness in such a small space and there's so much expression. We have way more respect for one another, especially people that are different. The school is also very open and you're able to express yourself in a very open way. Yeah, because yeah. they're not like treated differently. Like we're all treated the same. It was an amazing experience. I, I can't explain. As students you get quite a bit of like individual attention from teachers but then also you get to have closer relationships and friendships with the other students in your class and with higher and lower grades. Um, the small size of the classes and just the teachers energy to teach it, it helps so much when you have a small compact class you can engage with the teacher ask more questions and feel that you're a part of the class at all times. Now the, the financial challenge we have in the Bursary Trust Fund is to have enough funds to um, pay bursaries in the current year mm -hmm. and also enough that we can save up so that we build up a seed capital that will mm -hmm. continue to give a harvest in the years going forward. Because if each family gave two and a half thousand rands a year to the Bursary Trust Fund, that would meet our, our existing bursary needs and it would leave some left over that we can invest wisely and that will become evergreen as times go forward. We have visibly seen how people's lives have been changed, how these young kids have taken the opportunity and, and lifted it up. There's no better way to invest money than in the youth and, and equipping them with an education and, and a sense of self-worth that they can grow up and, and be the instruments of change in our society. So it's, you know, two and a half thousand rand per family. It's a tiny fraction. Really, it is nothing. You can spend that on five pizza evenings. <laughs> if you trust that with us, as you mentioned, trust is the key. Trust us with that. There's going to be an extraordinary outcome in mm -hmm. someone's life.